amazing event together. Maria, yeah. thank you. <laughs> thank you for having me. Of course. Come on. <laughs> thank you for having us. <laughs> My pleasure. So you look like like a star. Thank you. Stars and fabulous. Thank you. I love the shoes. Thank you. I love that that's your face. Yes. So I'm glad you're sparkly. Thank you. And uh, tell us about what does art mean to you? Why did you do art and fashion together? Because I really think they're so interconnected, like it's it's so heavily involved with one with the other. And a lot of the artists that you see nowadays, they're really integrating a lot of fashion into their art pieces. So I think it's important when we think about fashion that it's not just about clothing, it's about art, it's about creativity, it's about inspiration. It's really like everything that you see, feel and touch gets inspired through art. So it was really great to be able to celebrate some of the amazing artists that we have here tonight and their inspiration into their art pieces as well as into their fashion design. So we have fashion illustrators tonight, we have amazing artists, and we have amazing designers that have incorporated art into, art their, into their beautiful work. pieces. Yeah, yeah. So. so it's really a celebration of both. This is your life, go this for it. This is my life. So um, basically what myself and Marcus do are we the programmers for Fashion Group International. So we help on top of like when the venues appear right. and designers and everything, we help with the logistics and ensuring that everything is seamless. Okay, but Jen, tell the people who you are. Oh, <laughs> uh, we don't know that yet. What do you mean you don't know who I am? Or who I think I am. That's my line though. <laughs> um, so my name is Jen. I am the founder of Styleworthy. So my background is marketing and event production, but what I decided to do is the aspect of all of this and make it into something where you leave with a better sense of self. I love that. Yeah, uh, so. But Jen, what does art mean to you? Art is about vision. Art is about being able to put an idea down and to tell a story. Right. So it involves a lot of color. So for me as a visual individual, it um, brings energy and life into our day-to-day -day environments. That's what it is to me. I love that, I love that. Um, I am the Vice President of Store Experience for Holt Renfrew. We have two stores on Bloor Street, yes. our main store and our men's store, the 100 Bloor. So. so, and we're always there, you know. I love just, that. Just like seeing everything, yes. and then like trying to think, oh, we want this in our closet. <laughs> so, those weird people that you see, uh, it's myself and my partner. I love so that. You will, like see that as well. Well, I'll have to say hi next time I see you there. Please do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you have to come in, we just opened our new restaurant. Yes! January I've, 22nd. Have you come yes, to see us? Yes, I've, I've not come there yet, oh, but you I, have will to. Come. Okay, I will come. Okay, So what does art mean to you? So art for me is a really great way for people to communicate and express themselves. I think everybody has a different appreciation of what art is. Everybody can relate to it. And it's a great way for people to come together and appreciate things together. And that's what I love about it. What does art mean to you? Art means so many things to me. Um, I grew up in a family of artists. My dad has been oil painting every Wednesday night since before I was born. My grandmother was an artist. I did a ton of art growing up. I, I still am very creative today. And to me, it acts as a few functions. It is uh, my creative release whenever I need to, you know, release stress, whenever I'm uh, having a bad day, art is a way that I sort of find my center. Your last name to Triantles, it's pretty easy, but thank you, Rashi. <laughs> I cannot do that. Yeah. What do you, like, like, how does art and fashion come together for you? Well, art, uh, fashion, it's one and the same. It's a creativity, a dare to be different, to, yes. to try new things. Familiarity is a killer of a, a new, <laughs> you know, you, you have to try to get out of your comfort zone. Okay. And, and, you know, that's the whole thing about painting is trying to, it's easy to be familiar and stick to, but trying to do different things, and that's what makes unique, unique art, unique fashion, unique food, everything, music, so it's all connected. Okay, all this amazingness, and we have you, Ron, who does this. That's correct. So that's just what I just said, just does this. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a lot of learning. On that. <laughs> yeah, uh, basically, it's uh, 
A collaboration of uh, a lot of color and old imagery um, that I try to compile. I studied Andy Warhol and, and Jasper okay. Johns and Jackson Pollock. So what you see here is kind of a collection of all of that put together. Uh, today for the fashion event, I wanted to do something that was really fashion oriented, like an iconic brand, yeah, uh, Louis that. Vuitton. So I take a lot of old Louis Vuitton imagery and old advertising as I lay it in the background. Right. And then I go over it with layers and layers of colors. And then I kind of make sure I have a good center uh, point of reference, being the logo or the brand. And just kind of try to create a, a piece that's uh, kind of classic that people can see. And right. it tells you a bit of a story as you go up and you see the different imageries throughout the background. And that's what I kind of try to encapsulate with a lot of the work that I do. And we are with Vanya, how do I pronounce your last name? I'm not very Basic. good at it. Basic. Yes, good. Okay, and you are the founder of Fashion Art Toronto. That's it right. is the city's biggest fashion show. It's been running for 15 years yep. and it's the only platform that, that combines art, fashion, it gives opportunities for new designers and every year it's getting better and better and now this year you're also involved in the art of fashion with FGI. Yes, that's that right. kind of yeah. like came, came together. So. How? <laughs> well, I, I think it's been a long time coming um, that, you know, I think it's important for organizations in Toronto to sort of start connecting more and more with each other. Right. Um, and also this year, our theme is we're all in this together. And I think it's about, um, you know, being more collaborative, working together with the industry, mm -hmm. the fact that we can do more together than separately. Yeah. So I think it's nice to, you know, connect with your community. It's about building a community of, of like-minded people together, having a, a common interest and, and seeing how we can uh, connect to like build our future together in, in a positive way. And what does art mean to you? Like, I mean, I like, like what you said is so true and I, that's definitely where everybody's going. But you've been doing this before people even even realized it. So that means like art tells something for you. And, and what is that? Yeah, for me, art is about telling a story. It's about evoking emotion. I love that. That's so yeah. to the point. It's yeah. simple and you've brought it to life. Yeah. Vanya, thank you so much for your time here. And I'm looking forward to getting to know you more and chatting with yeah, you more. Yeah, that's great. I'm excited as well. Yeah, and yeah. enjoy the rest of the night. It's an so amazing much. event. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>
There's always a photographer, you know, your photographer is amazing, <laughs> who can capture a shot. However, there's only one way to draw something. But then that's so individualized based right. on the talent or the person, the individual behind doing that yeah. drawing. Like every drawing is unique. And I'm also a high school teacher and I Ooh. teach visual art and visual photography. Art. So I want to give props to photographers out there and graphic design. But I always tell my students that, you know, if you have an apple in front of you, there's a lot of photographers that can capture that apple. Right. But if you have an illustrator, how is that yeah. illustrator going to capture that apple? And every rendition is so unique and so individualized.